Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. A new LDS temple will be built near Lone Mountain after a unanimous vote. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Cynthia Puga. We begin with Top Story, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. The Las Vegas City Council has unanimously approved the construction of the controversial Church of Latter-day Saints Temple near Lone Mountain. Now, this comes after a three-hour-long meeting on Wednesday. In May, LDS members spoke to the Planning Commission to express their support for the development of a 70,000-square-foot temple. On Wednesday, the Planning Commission approved a series of planning requests for that temple. In conjunction with the Planning Commission recommendation and consistent with staff recommendations, of approval, I move to approve item number 63 with the aforementioned conditions. Some community members opposed to the proposal said the size of the building and the constant lighting of the temple would affect the quality of their life. The church plans to build the temple on 20 acres at southeast corner of Hickman Avenue and Grand Canyon Drive. A Las Vegas couple accused of killing their two-year-old son may soon be facing additional charges. 23-year-old Deja Smith and 24-year-old Jacoby Robinson are charged with the death of Jacoby Robinson Jr. after the boy's body was found in a dumpster in downtown Las Vegas in June. Prosecutors intend to pursue additional charges against the couple. The two appeared in court on Wednesday morning when Chief Deputy District Attorney Mark DiGiacomo said he intends to file additional charges against them. He said the case will also be presented to a committee that will determine if prosecutors will seek the death penalty. A Las Vegas man has been sentenced to prison for threatening to kill the family of a congressperson. Now, this is according to U.S. Attorney's Office. Anthony Hamelin called the spouse of a then member of the U.S. House of Representatives and left a voicemail threatening to kill the couple's son. A district judge sentenced Hamelin to nearly four years in prison, followed by three years of supervised release. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. We have a 30% chance of showers this afternoon, but other than that, we'll be seeing mostly sunny skies with temperatures hitting 101 by 10 a.m. and a high of 107 degrees. An excessive heat warning begins this Saturday morning and is expected to last through Sunday evening. Temperatures are expected between 110 and 115 degrees for this weekend and the rest of next week with mostly sunny skies. Moving on to business, a 20-acre affordable housing community could be coming to the Southwest Valley. It would be located on the north side of Cactus Avenue between Buffalo Drive and Rainbow Boulevard. Now, this is the first proposed sale of the public land below fair market value under a new agreement with the U.S. Department of the Interior and the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. If approved, the land would be offered up for sale in accordance with the Southern Nevada Public Land Management Act. The Southern Nevada District Office of the Bureau of Land Management announced it is seeking public input through August 30th. Sports brought to you by PT's Taverns. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit PTsTaverns.com. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver says the NBA will begin exploring if they will make plans to add a pair of expansion teams to the league. Las Vegas and Seattle could be potential cities for new teams, Silver said during a news conference at the Thomas & Mack Center where NBA Summer League is still underway. With the NBA close to finalizing a reported $76 billion media rights deal and a new collective bargaining agreement in place, Expansion is the next topic the league will focus on. Moving on to health news brought to you by Centerwell Senior Primary Care. Discover primary care focused on you. Southern Hills Hospital and Medical Center has been nationally recognized for its commitment to providing high-quality care to its stroke patients. The American Heart Association presented Southern Hills with the Get With the Guidelines Stroke Gold Plus Award for its dedication to ensuring all stroke patients have access to the best practices and life-saving care. Strokes are the number five cause of death and a leading cause of disability in the U.S. Early stroke detection and treatment are crucial to improving survival, minimizing disability, and accelerating recovery times.
Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. As the MLB All-Star break continues, Aaron Judge leads the league with 34 home runs and is the odds-on minus 500 favorite at Caesar Sportsbook to be the regular season home run leader. Shohei Otani is second in homers with 29 and is the plus 650 second choice to be crowned the home run king. Gunnar Henderson with 28 homers is the 8-1 to third pick. Marzell Ozuna fourth with 26 home runs is 35-1. to Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Devontae Adams' agency is shutting down reports that the Raiders' star wide receiver is asking to be traded. The speculation started with the release of the Netflix docuseries Receiver, which features Adams and highlights his frustrations with the team's 2023 season. Here's Raiders beat writer Vinny Bonsignor with more. Devontae Adams, while he's not happy with the wins and losses, is happy with the situation with the Raiders. So the frustration that you saw was months and months and months ago. And he doesn't want to get traded. There's no trade talk. There's no, no inclination from Devontae Adams to want to be traded. There's no inclination by the Raiders to trade him. In lifestyle news, the master plan community of Summerlin has more than 300 parks within its boundary and four of them are in the works. According to Howard Hughes, Summerlin has 32 large community parks and a wide array of amenities. Summerlin also has 200 plus miles within its trail system. Howard Hughes says the goal is to have Summerlin's trail system connect cyclists and hikers to Red Rock Canyon from the village of Stonebridge as a planned 20 mile bike and hike trail that will run along Nevada State Route 159. That is in the works currently, but a completion date has not been set yet. Moving on to entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie says live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Lady Gaga is living for the applause in Las Vegas. She made the top 10 list for best-selling residencies. Gaga's jazz and piano show at Park MGM came in at number 8, earning $110 million, just ahead of Jennifer Lopez and behind Bruno Mars. Gaga is the fourth female headliner to achieve $100 million dollars milestone in Las Vegas, joining Celine Dion, J-Lo, and Cher. Celine, however, remains at the top of the list with her A New Day residency, which ran at Caesars Palace and ranked in $387 million. She also takes the number two spot with her Celine residency, which also ran at Caesars Palace and brought in $296 million. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. You can also watch our newscast on other platforms like Apple TV and Roku. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more local news updates. We'll see you here tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. The 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.